What's going on everybody? It's Mikey B of Mikey B Cards here for another YouTube video and I know that I say this with every video but I truly mean it each and every time, especially this time. I am super pumped for this video. Why? It's because as you can see in the title, it is my Beckett grading sub number two reveal. Man, I send a bunch of good cards out and I'm very, very happy with the results. Minus one or two, I think it was a great sub. I cannot wait to share it with you all. Um, I have some cards that some others sent as well. So I'll be revealing those um, at the same time. So a lot of people have asked me what I do for submissions. Like, do I submit them myself? Do I send them to somebody or anything like that? So I, like many people, send my subs in to David, aka DK Cards. On Instagram uh, he lives down in the area where Beckett is so it's super easy for him to pop over and do these subs he has graded thousands and thousands of cards so he knows what to look for he knows how to clean them and prep them he does a really good job with communication so I cannot recommend him enough I will put his information down below in the description so make sure you check him out if you're interested in doing a uh, sub through Beckett and uh, if you do good luck to you uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and check these things out. So the left-hand box, these are cards of mine that I subbed. And this box right here are uh, cards from other people in the group that sub that I'll send over to. So, like I said, overall, the sub was really, really strong. Um, very pleased with the results. So this particular one right here, this is a uh, Nasir Little autograph, but it's the Green Ice variation. Uh, this one's going out to my buddy Aaron, a.k.a. A -A 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 Ron. Um, it subbed extremely well, 9595959 on surface, but it was a 9510. Just an absolute gorgeous card. Um, we pulled this in one of our uh, NBA prison breaks, one of our many NBA prison breaks. And uh, because it was a green ice auto it, and a rookie, we were like, you know what? You might want to grade that, you know. Now, Sierra Little may or may not be super strong right now. Uh, but don't know in the future uh, if he'll become a, a superstar, so it'll be nice to have that graded card early. Um, I believe this was from the same break, but Romeo Lankford, Green Ice. This was all 9.5s except for Surface. Prism this year, I'm sure I'm not telling you guys anything that you don't already know. Centering is an extremely hard grade. So to be able to get 9.5s or 10s in centering are so strong in order to get an overall 9.5. So... This particular card is going out to my buddy Devin, a.k.a. Swaggy. So congratulations to you. Uh, this remaining stack is going to uh, my friend Michael B., a.k.a. Valley of Cards. Make sure you check him out um, on his website and eBay. Uh, he graded an assortment of stuff. So this was one of the cards that we were a little disappointed in the grade. It's a Derek Jeter from... Uh, top spine is 2019. It's a beautiful card. You can see it's kind of that red wave. It's an on-card autograph. It's three of five. So it's an extremely, extremely nice card considering Jeter just retired. Um, we got dinged a little bit on surface, so we um, must have missed something when we were looking it over. There must be like a little scratch or surface flaw, but somewhere. But 9-5 on centering, 9 on edges and corners for an 8-5-10 overall. I did ask Mike if you wanted to crack it. So the, the cards that I cracked that got eight fives, um, I did because basically for most cards, if you don't have a nine, you know, a nine's probably not gonna hurt you or really help you that much, uh, depending on the card. Nine fives and the rarity, the 10, are really what you're shooting for. So this particular card, because it's a Jeter on card, because it's out of five, you know, the eight five actually, I don't think is really gonna harm this card. Uh, you know, Jeter stuff is so, uh, is so pricey right now just because of the retire or not the retirement but the hall of fame and um uh, mike and i were both like yeah I, th I think leave it in there because that way if somebody buys it there's no hey what's this going to grade at there's no mystique or mystery it's already graded i think he'll still do very well on that card if he sells it he did extremely well on this 2019 finest autograph blue refractor tatis jr uh, that is an on-card auto 10 on the centering, nine fives elsewhere. We needed a couple more tens to get that 10 10, but beautiful card, great grade. Congratulations on that one, Mike. This, I think, other than, so I'm biased. Obviously, I think some of the stuff I submitted are the best cards in the sub, but 
I will I will take a back seat because I think this is probably one of the nicest cards that we subbed in this particular one. It's a Black Pandora Kyler Murray uh, rated rookie from Optic. Uh, it did gem mint 9.5. Centering we got ding, so it wasn't a true gem mint, but still an extremely, extremely nice card. It's numbered 8 of 25. So you guys can kind of see it right there. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I told Mike, I was like, I'm drooling over this card. This card might not leave the house. <laughs> I might have to work out a deal on that one. That's really nice. Uh, this one could be extremely timely. As of filming this video, the Super Bowl has not yet happened. The video is going to come out after the Super Bowl. So if the Chiefs win, this card jumps tremendously. If not, Patrick Mahomes still has a phenomenal career ahead of him. But uh, this is a Spectre from 2019. Mahomes autograph. This one is to 25, 15 to 25. Spectre in general, just some general advice for you guys, is extremely hard to grade. It's very, very hard to 9-5 a Spectre card. So getting a 9 actually is quite solid. Um, it did have a 10 auto. Uh, the auto is perfect or whatever. Uh, we got Ding here on corners. That happens a lot with Spectre cards. Same with edges. Just these thicker stock cards, National Treasures, iMac especially. Um, they can be really, really tough to grade. So it's still a phenomenal grade, and it's a Mahomes Auto, so that's a great card. Uh, once again, I'd probably put this under the Disappointment category because we got a 10 on centering, two 9.5s, but we got an 8 on surface. So our Lamar Jackson 2018 Select only got a 9 overall. So once again, surface-wise, something must have been missed when we were looking, perhaps a ding. So... I see something right there, but I think that's actually part of the uh, the graded card holder uh, above the, the slab. But beautiful Lamar Jackson rookie from Select. Um, a little disappointing in the surface grade there, but still a very nice card. There is one card that we did crack. Uh, it was this Kyler Murray purple. Uh, it was 14 out of 50. I believe this one came back in 8.5. I'm looking at my notes up there. Yeah, 8.5. So... Um, I think we had issues, once again, with centering on this one and a little bit with surface, but still an absolute beautiful card. Uh, we def we tried our best for the for the grade, but I think what I, what I kind of chuckle at sometimes when I see like people on Instagram or Twitter, um, especially Twitter, uh, but just in, in general, people are like, this card's going to, this card's going to 10, this card's a 9.5 all day. It's like, when we looked at this card, we thought this card is super strong. This is going to 9.5, and it didn't even 9. So, you know, I'm always leery about some of these people that, especially if, I mean, it's one thing if you grade hundreds of cards and you say this is going to 9 or 9.5, then I'll be like, oh, okay, well, you know what you're talking about. But if you've never done submissions or whatever, don't try to guess the grade. It's a heck of a lot harder to get high grades than you guys might think. Um, another case in point, a beautiful Daniel Jones, Purple Stars. This is from first off the line. Centering, once again, 8.5. Everything else is 9.5. So typically what you're going to see is whatever your lowest grade is, you can't really get much more than 0.5 above that. So once again, if this was something that was a little better centered, this would have been a really strong card. As is, it's still gorgeous. It's a short print Dan Jones, 5 of 25. So beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, which I wish it would have graded a little higher. Uh, we move into basketball. Basketball, especially Prism this year, as talked about, is notoriously hard on centering. Uh, this is a really cool Luck of the Lottery Zion Williamson Silver. Uh, I believe we pulled this in one of the breaks. Straight nines across. Beautiful looking card. Nine overall grade. This one was so close. Oh, it was so, it's such a sick card, too. Uh, Ruby Wave Zion. Uh, we did have two 9.5s. We needed one more 9.5 on surface or centering to get that overall gem mint. So still a absolute ludicrous card. It's gorgeous. The Ruby Waves are not numbered, um, but you can find them in the retail box uh, as well as um, hobby boxes and so forth. But just absolutely gorgeous Zion Williamson there, and that graded an overall 9. So those are all the cards that went to uh, our, our friends. And I thought overall they did really, really well. So those will, uh, by the time this video airs, guys, those will probably be in the mail to you. Um, let's go through the stuff that I submitted. Um, once again, we've got some amazing cards and we have some slight disappointments. 
The good news is is that the uh, the good far far outweighs the bad. So, um, interestingly enough, I was going back through my old boxes. This is one reason why you keep a bunch of boxes of like numbered and random stuff is because you just never know who's going to break out. So I pulled this card last year, put it in the box, didn't even think about it, put through, and I was like, oh my god, I got a numbered Lamar Jackson rated rookie. So this one's pretty sick. It's a uh, 243 out of 299 a uh, I believe it's an aqua or blue from um rated uh optic excuse me rated rookie it came back in 85 a little disappointing it was a little off on centering and surface but still an absolute gorgeous card so raw it will still sell very well very pleased with that bummed on this one just because I only sent a couple John Morants in and this is the only variation that I've pulled of him very, very cool looking card. Once again, came back 8.5. As it, as I look at it now, like look at the centering where the rookie is compared to where that box is. I, I probably should have known. I, now that I look, see, here's the interesting thing, guys, is I, I sent these cards in like at the very beginning of January. I was, I'm still a grading noob, so I'm still learning as I go. If I saw this card now, I never would have sent it. I would have been like, yeah, that's not going to gem. But still a beautiful card. This one, I'll just say, was my most disappointment. Um, you know, an absolute gorgeous Zion Williamson silver. I thought the centering was pretty strong. You know, it's got the that typical mark down the back, as so many of them do. Um, got dinged on centering and got an 8.5. So, wah, wah. Beautiful card. Really, really bummed that it didn't do better than an 8.5. So, I just decided to crack it and... I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably still keep it, but maybe I'll sell it raw. I don't know. All right, let's get to the good stuff. This is where it really gets interesting. The only John Morant I've ever pulled silver for me, um, I did send in. And look at that, guys. True gem. Nine fives all around. Could not be more happy about this one. Um, I think the value of this is continuing to escalate. When he inevitably wins Rookie of the Year, I think it's going to jump even higher. This is probably one I'm not gonna get. Uh, I'm not gonna sell anytime soon. I'm probably gonna keep this till the end of the basketball season and into next year to see what he does. So super pumped for that. This card I think is the biggest one of the entire lot. Um, what an amazing card! I'm so happy with the grade. Uh, it's a John Morant Green Shimmer. This was from first off the line. The auto's gorgeous. Um, corners we got dinged. Otherwise, it's a True Gem Mint nine five ten. It is numbered. And it is 01 of 25. Just a huge, huge card. I mean, value wise, I don't even know like where this card hits, but it, it's up there. Um, the fact that it graded really well just adds to it. So phenomenal card. Cannot wait to uh, probably find this one a permanent home. This is one I probably will not keep. I will probably sell this or end up trading it for like a bucket list card somewhere down the road, but just so gorgeous. I, too, had a luck of the lottery Zion Williamson. Mine's the hyper version. Uh, I got um, decent enough. Corners were an 8.5. Otherwise, I was saved by a couple of 9.5 grades, which is great. So I got the 9 overall. But um, if the corners were a little bit better, this this would have gemmed. So that's unfortunate. But um, Now, when you do have, when corners 8.5 or when you have something where it's like, uh, you know, it's not too bad, you could always crack it and resubmit it. I won't be doing that with this card. I know some people will resub cards five or six times trying to get the grade that they're looking for. That's not really my cup of tea. I'm kind of one and done, but I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the nine. Uh, extremely happy about this one. True, uh, uh, a gem mint, excuse me, not a true gem. We uh, got dinged on surface, but nine five Zion Williamson variation. I pulled this one myself. Unbelievable card. Love that. This one, I am. I was kind of hoping that the Silver Zion and this one, 9.5. And this one we did. So we lost a little bit on centering, but Orange Ice Zion, 9.5. This thing is so sick. So I, I might move some of my Zions. I might keep a couple. This one, I would be extremely hard-pressed to sell. The card is so gorgeous. I love Cracked Ice. I love this orange Cracked Ice. I wish they'd bring that out in Prism Football. And it's a 9.5. That's going to be hard to part with. Uh, I graded this one once again. Super Bowl dependent. I thought that this could uh, jump high. I have two of them now. I believe um, I'm looking at doing a third. So 
<clears throat> I am I can't say I'm all aboard on the Chiefs, but I, I do think that uh, they could win the Super Bowl. So if the 49ers do end up winning, I have nothing against them. Um, I think they're a great team as well. Surface was a little eh. Otherwise, we got an overall nine. Patrick Mahomes 2017 Prism. It does look silver, and I know some people would be like, oh, that's a silver, but the 2017 year, all these rookie cards were silver. There were no just base versions of it. So that's why you see that. All right, let's get into some sick autos here. We got the uh, Dan Jones Green Pulsar. Uh, this is from Prism. Uh, edges were a nine, otherwise uh, Gem Mint 9, 5, 10. Very nice card. It is not numbered. Uh, this did come out of retail. I purchased this card from a buddy of mine. Thought I got a pretty good deal. I think Dan Jones is going to be strong next year. Um, I'm a supporter, so uh, and I think that division's wide open. It's a reason why I like Dwayne Haskins as well. So really glad that that nine five ten. This one, I this one I just graded for for the heck of it. I kind of figured, you know what? If it grades well, great. If it doesn't, it's still going to be strong. We lost out a little bit on edges. Once again, sometimes thicker cards is a little tougher with edges, but that's a Lamar Jackson first off the line uh, purple auto. So. Beautiful on-card SIG at 910. Uh, the card is 12 of 32. Once again, probably not one that I'm going to sell, one that I'll hold on through next year. Uh, very big on Lamar. He had a great year this year, MVP season. I think he's going to be strong next year as well. Beautiful card. All right, I have three Kyler Murray autos. Super happy about these grades. Gem Mint 9510. This is the silver. Interestingly enough, last night in the breaks, we pulled one of these, another beautiful card. Um, this one, once again, I pulled myself. All these I pulled myself. I didn't buy any of the Kylers, so uh, I got really lucky. I did not pull any Daniel Jones autos out of Prism, despite how many I opened for myself, but Kyler seemed to hit all the time. So 9-5-10 on the silver, 9-5-10 on the green scope. It's a true gem mint, 9-5 all around. Beautiful card there. That's numbered 7 of 75. Love that one. And then, oh, so happy this one, Jen. Another huge card, but first off the line, Sensational Signatures, Blue Shimmer, 9, 5, 10. Look at that. We got a 10 on the centering. That surface grade, oh, just needed you up a little bit more, but beautiful card there. That one is 3 of 10, so incredibly short print, so... There you guys have it. Like I said, uh, tremendous. I'm extremely, extremely happy. I know I had to crack some cards, but you know what? Not every card can be a 10-10, especially with a BGS. Um, sometimes just getting 9-5s are extremely hard. So very happy with this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think. What do you think is the coolest card of the lot? You know, not just value-wise, but... What do you think did well? Or more importantly, if you have any tips or tricks, because I know a lot of people watch these videos either right when they release or later, um, if you have any tips for getting better grades, I would love to hear them in the comments. So write down below, what are your tips to get better grades for Beckett? I'll put DK's information as mentioned below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. That really certainly helps it out. I'm trying to put new content out every week, including breaks, mail day, reveal videos, product reviews, all that good stuff. So. Thanks for watching. For now, we're going to say deuces. Mikey B, out.